Oh, welcome back, everybody. This is another uh, training area in Trails of Cold Steel 4. This is later after yes. the first act of the game, where you have already re-recruited Rain back into your party. Um, we start out on this uh, the beach, and before I do anything, I just want to let you know, there is a fishing spot here, mm. and you can catch so a swordfish or a marlin here. And depending on uh, if you get it in the green, the blue, or the yellow, you get a different action quartz. If it's the highest rarity, then you get a action three, which increases your speed by a whole lot. And I highly recommend doing that uh, if you don't already have a whole bunch of speed threes or action threes. Anyway, um, so the part that we're going to be grinding at is up in this area here. Um, once you get up here the first time, you'll be able to uh, just fast travel to the near waterfall. But for those who do not have that unlocked just yet, you can just run up this way. And then we're going to try and aggro two different mobs. This guy and this guy. Oh, this guy's kind of far away though, so... Oop, there we go! So... The rest area in this section of the game, uh, you can rest at the uh, the ship, but it does not heal your CP. So I do not recommend using your crafts during these fights. Instead, you're gonna want to use arts. So uh, these guys aren't that difficult, especially if you lower the difficulty down, which I forgot to show you guys, but for uh, grinding purposes, if you really want to grind, you should, uh, you should set the difficulty down to easy, unless you're in nightmare mode. In nightmare mode, you can't do this, but if you're not in nightmare mode, you can just lower the difficulty down to easy, and then grind some. It lowers the amount of damage you'll take, and it lowers the amount of HP that your enemies are going to have. And if you're grinding, I don't know if that's really all that important. Go ahead and use our celebration. I uh, probably should have waited until... <laughs> Ash's turn for that. Actually, I screwed up right there. Oh well, that's fine. This giant dragon's actually weak to fire. And he's dead. So, as you can see here, you can get a lot of eight, uh, EXP. And it really depends on what your multiplier is. Uh, if your multiplier is only like 1.2 or 1.3 times, you're only going to get about 4,000 experience. But, you know, if you can get up to like two times, then you're getting about 9,000 per run. <laughs> and then after the battle, you can just... Fast travel back to the beach. Come to the airship. Uh, once it loads in, there we go. Come to the airship. And then you can rest here. Again, this will not heal your CP, but it will heal your heal your EP. I recommend uh, wind and fire magic for this uh, group of enemies. And I think that should be about it. Um, right. My Muse does have the Frozen Epic Quartz. You get that back in the first section of the game. There's that bonus enemy that they recommend you only fight once you're like level 90 or 100 or something like that. Uh, that's You can get that there. Uh, you do not need this necessarily for this fight. I just happen to have it equipped, so I'm using it. Uh, you probably might not have that unlocked at this part of the game yet. The boss fight at that section is very difficult. But... Other than that, you should be fine. Um, as far as changing difficulties goes, uh, just go down to your options. And you can flip between any of these four options. Again, if you're on Nightmare, you cannot change your difficulty. Uh, but if you're just grinding, you can probably go with very easy. Uh, but other than that, yeah, you should be good. Alright. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all found this very helpful. And I will see you again next time.